Greetings IB artists, uh, I'm Miss A and today we'll be talking about I'm in Morocco today which is absolutely amazing, loving it, but anyway let's get down to business. Generally speaking the HL level is more demanding than the SL level. You are basically required to have more depth and breadth in your work. So you need to show evidence of a much more in-depth exploration of artists, of um, media techniques, context of art, as in the history and cultural background. In the HL level, uh, you are required to actually not only explore the artists and media and artworks in different contexts, but you also um, show evidence of how all that study of artists and artwork has influenced your own work. So there is a different kind of, um, there is a, an extra criterion, if you like, for the HL standard students. So apart from the uh, criterion that requires you to show evidence of influences of all the work that you've studied and the artists that you've studied, you're also asked to produce uh, more work. So like the number of final pieces or resolved pieces that you submit for your exhibition is uh, bigger. It's, it's a, a larger number of, of individual works. Your IB course is basically comprised of three main components. One of them is the comparative study, where you study artworks and you study artists. Uh, the second one is the process portfolio, where you are studying techniques, exploring media, uh, developing your skills and refining all three. Uh, and that refinement should be evident in, your, in the work that you produce at the end and submit for the examination. And obviously the third component is the ex actual exam. So your exam would be the exhibition and you have a curatorial rationale. So you kind of write up about uh, your exhibition, the development, the refinement, uh, chron in a, possibly in a chronological way. But you also talk about why uh, you've set up the exhibition in the, in the way that you have and you, you, you consider the audience that, who is looking at your work. We will be going into that in greater depth when we actually really kind of um, look at the specific criteria within each component. But generally speaking, just to give you an idea, For the SL standard, you are submitting for the comparative component of, of the IB course, you're submitting 10 to 15 screens, uh, which show evidence of you looking at at least three artworks, two of which uh, have to be by, by two separate artists. Uh, the artworks also have to be from different uh, from in different contexts, so there has to be some kind of difference between them uh, historically or culturally um, or, or have different influences uh, surrounding the artwork, okay? For the HL students, it is basically the same. However, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you will also be talking how the studied artworks and the studied um, 
artists that you have looked at in great depth are influencing your work, how you have learned from these artists, how you have made decisions based on um, what you have found out through the exploration of artworks and studied artists. For the process a portfolio component, the SL students will, have, will submit 9 to 18 different screens. Uh, and the screens are basically slides or, um, yeah, you, you can think of them as screens or slides of, uh, that you submit um, with your exam work to show that you are responding to that criterion. Um, you will also be required to um, explore and develop within two different disciplines uh, or art forms, the IB calls them, uh, which are in, in, in three different categories. One is 2D, so painting, drawing, printmaking, whatever is, is kind of on a flat piece of paper, generally speaking. The other choice is 3D work, so any kind of sculptural elements. And the final one is more like lens-based and digital, so photography, film, that kind of stuff, uh, whether it's analog, you can still do, you know, old fashioned photography. Um, so these are your choices. So for SL, you have to do two different uh, types of disciplines and they have to be in two separate uh, categories. So either 2D, 3D or the lens based and digital work. So th that's you choose two of, out of the three. So the HL basically does the same, however, you have to choose three different media or three different art forms or disciplines to explore. And they again have to be from two separate categories. So either 2D work, 3D work or digital and uh, film or photography. You are also submitting a larger number of screens, so you're submitting between 13 to 25, whereas the SL students was 9 to 18 screens. For the final component, your exhibition component, the standard level uh, submits 4 to 7 resolved or finalised artworks and a 400 word curatorial rationale. And I mentioned very briefly, it is basically talking about um, your exhibition, your work in general, how it's progressed, etc. And why you are exhibiting it in the way that you are in terms of the audience. So how are you communicating what you want to communicate through the exhibition and how you're considering the people who are responding to your work. For the HL students, you are submitting 8 to 11 resolved artworks or finished artworks and you're submitting a curatorial rationale of 700 words. Uh, it needs to be a lot more in depth. And again, you are explaining how you have considered the audience who are looking at your work. Are you guiding them in a specific way? Uh, what are the strategies that you have used in order to kind of communicate what you want to communicate with the audience. So how do, how do I choose? How do I choose uh, the SL versus the HL level, uh, you know, according to what I need, my needs, my capabilities? Uh, you will get the same amount of time, generally speaking. So the SL students along with the HL students are usually in the same class. If you are um, someone who has not had a very you know, strong background in art, if your grades weren't that amazing um, in the MYP program for example or the GCSE pro program if you're coming from a different system, uh, then the SL option is for you because there is a little bit uh, more leniency in the way that your work is graded. You're producing less work, um, so that, that's really suitable for people who are focused on getting the grades or who don't necessarily want to study art later on. And you know, art is always recommended, whether you want to study uh, art 
later on or not. It is truly a wonderful subject and I've, I've said this before. For the HL students, you will be focused on a subject in much greater depth. You will be producing a lot more work. You will be pushed to experiment and um, really come uh, to a level of understanding art in, in quite a professional way, if you like. So this is an excellent way to prepare for the university level and if you are you know, uh, submitting a portfolio uh, by which you are basically applying, uh, then HL is the obvious choice. There's a whole range of wonderful, wonderful art universities all across the world. So if you're thinking about studying art later on, it would actually be an extremely good idea to find out what the requirements actually are. Obviously, I, I know that uh, this is you know, very early on and you may not even know whether you want to do art at this point. However, some of you will know, will know, would have known for quite a while that this is what you want to do. And so uh, always, always, always check uh, what the requirements of your specific university are. Right? And this applies also if you don't want to study art. Find out what, what it is. If you have a university in mind or several, then find out what it is that uh, that university asks of you. It's very important to do this as early as possible to avoid any kind of drama later on. Well, this is basically it. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, again, it's very, very broad, very general, but it should give you some idea if you're not really sure at this point what you want to do and which level you want to take. Um, another thing that I want to say is if you start off at HL level, then you can obviously switch to SL level. Uh, obviously it is not so easy to do it the other way around. I probably would not recommend it, but you know, you have uh, a chat with your teacher. But at this point, just know that maybe if the HL level gets too much, you've signed up for it, you think oh, I'm not coping, you can actually drop down to the SL level. Thank you so much for listening, I hope this has been helpful. I'm Miss A, see you, bye bye.